Mary Ann Hyman here with the energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. It's time to refocus our energy. Lots of holiday going on. How's everybody doing? Give me a hashtag greetings. Hey, Patrick, give me a hashtag gratitude. If you are able to find some gratitude, whatever it may be over this weekend. Yes, we're definitely into full force of the holiday season. So come on in and join me this evening. We're going to refocus our energy. We're going to pick a few cards. And we're actually going to kind of release out all of that excess family energy. All right? We can't help it. We take it on. Part of our DNA. But we're going to cut some cords and release it all out. A lot going on this week. As we talked about Monday on the Empowered Spirit Show with Laurie Zelensky, Z-Girl Astrology, Lots going on. We're full force holiday season, full force Scorpio energy, the Mars energy, adding a little bit of extra energy to us, Jupiter, all of that energy. And we're actually building towards a full moon. But let me know how your weekend was. Was there some gratitude? Hey, Sean, hashtag gratitude. All right. You did a little traveling, family there. Definitely something we all can find gratitude for, right? We can't always be thankful for all the circumstances in our life, but gratitude, yeah, definitely we can. So give me some gratitude. Give me some love as you come on in. Let's just take a few moments and just reground our energy, refocus. Time to jump back into the work week, right? Can't keep on partying. <laughs> Maybe some of us wish we could, but no, time to refocus. So come on in. Do me a favor. Share this out. I'm going to look for it here so I can share it as well. Come on over to my Empowered Spirit Circle too, all right? That's where a lot of stuff continues. I'm actually going to be doing some fun stuff in December as a way of giving back and showing my gratitude because I am very grateful for all of you. All right, I'm just going to look for it here on the Facebook page. Give me a second. All right, I've got a few more families here. I've got a few more hearts. All right, here we go. I'm finding it somewhere. There we go. All right, going to share. Let me know how it is for you. Is the holidays easy? Are they hard? Give me a hashtag easy or hashtag hard. Which is it for you? Is it good to be with your family or is it just challenging? What is it for you? All right, there's one share. Let me share one more to the Powered Spirit Circle. And again, if you're not in the circle, come on over and join us. We're going to be actually in, going to start doing some uh, early morning, early morning pranayama on Facebook Live for everyone because I know the holidays can be really hard. I know they can be. So I'm going to be starting that. So come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. You can find the link above. Join in Tuesday mornings, nice and early, probably around 5 a.m. We're going to do some pranayama, all right? And we're going to be able to focus our energy as we move in. All right, I just got a hashtag some of both. I love that, Sean. I understand that. Hashtag easy, happy. All right, Cindy, yay. Inus, hashtag ease. Very good. All right, they can be so many things, right? For so many people. They really can. So it just really depends. But I know throughout it all, finding that gratitude, I know for me, is really important. All right, hopefully it is for you too. So what is going on for this week? All right, as we talked about Monday on the Empowered Spirit Show, we have lots of energy brewing, all right? We know that. So it's best to really go in deep, Use that imagination. Open up to your spiritual path. Spiritual paths are really important right now. We really need that practice, that ritual. Very important as we move through this season. All right, so we're going to find some of that energy building. Monday and Tuesday, as you go through your week, Monday and Tuesday, going to be a little dreamy. Some of that Neptune energy coming in, going to be a little bit like, oh, I don't feel like working, right? Cyber Monday, all right? So just expect that. Know that that can happen. Really, the productive get-it-done day is going to be Wednesday, so be sure and get all of that energy done, all of that work done, those projects done, anything you're trying to complete. Wednesday is a good day to get that done. Thursday and Friday, the energy starts to build. We start to feel that emotional energy coming forward because we do. We have a super, new moon, a super full moon coming in on Sunday, all right? Some even say we've got two full moons in December. Some say the second full moon is in January. So it's a loaded full moon energy coming up. It's going to be the first of three super moons coming up. Super just means they're close to the earth. They look big, appear big. And yes, the pull on the body can be big too. All right. So as you go through the week, try to slide through those first two days. Focus. Get it done on Wednesday. 
Thursday and Friday, we're going to start to build energy for that full moon. And we also move into Mercury retrograde next week. So anything productive you need to do, again, try to get it done by Wednesday. This energy is going to be really intense for us as we move into it. Although Laurie talked about, if you missed the episode, go back and listen to it. Because Laurie talked about with the full moon energy as well, being that it's in Gemini and also Mercury, because uh, Gemini rules Mercury. So we're not going to be as intense going into that uh, retrograde. But as any retrograde will tell you, check your details. Don't start anything brand new if you can help it. Communication, all those things be coming into effect. But don't get so concerned about like, oh, don't get so dramatic about it. Just let it be something that you know about so you can use your time wisely. But we're going to feel that build of energy as we move through the week. So best to really plan to be productive on Wednesday and to let yourself dream a little bit as we move through the beginning of the week, right? And then to be sure to really work with the emotional body towards the end of the week. Don't hold on to the excess energy. Don't let that emotional body build and build and build. Really important to keep continually release it out. Actually, on the meditation this evening, we're going to do that. We're going to be cutting cords and releasing energy. So it'll be a good idea of how you can do this throughout the week as well. All right. So really, as we go through this week, stand in your practice. Take your dreams a little deeper. Really important. We're still working with that deep Scorpio energy. Really stand in that energy that you're working with. Move out. Move forward. Take that imagination. Open up that Im imagination, which actually we're going to be talking about tomorrow with Tina Conroy. Yay. I've had her on before. The Empowered. No, the Intuitive Woman podcast. She's going to be on talking about creativity and intuition, and we really get into talking about imagination. So be sure to check that episode out tomorrow. All right, so let's take a moment, let this energy settle, make a note for your week, and let's just take a few moments and do a meditation to help us really focus the energy to really align with this week, and most important, let's clear out any of that excess energy you may have picked up over the week with family, with friends, with ever, whoever it is you're around, especially if you're super sensitive, without knowing it, you may have picked it up. So wherever you are, if you can, let's just take a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. Oh, and exhale out. Maybe it's the first time all day you've had a chance to breathe. Take a nice deep inhale, a little sage, and exhale out. And just feel that energy around you, pulling it in. Inhaling, sending that breath all the way up the body. And exhale, pull the energy all the way back down. Feel the feet connecting with the earth, starting to ground. Inhaling, pulling the breath all the way up. Connecting with your divine guidance. Call in your masters. Call in your guides. Exhale, send the energy all the way back down. Pull the energy into the center. As you begin to find that alignment for you, coming back to your center. Inhaling. And exhaling, asking for guidance and protection. Now, I just want you for a moment to use your imagination. Try it. Use your imagination and imagine all that family and friend energy that you've been around this week. Imagine it really close into the auric fields. And now I want you just to go through and imagine just cutting the energy. Clip, clip, clip. And sending it back with love, with light. Sending it back to all the people that it belongs to. No need to hold on to other people's energy. Let it go. We can't fix things for everybody else. Send all of that energy back. Inhaling and exhale. Each exhale, imagine the breath, sending it back. Golden light, sending it back to each person. Maybe you saw a family, right? Whoever it was, got a little thumbs up with that one. Send it back. And as you begin to send it back, feel that center being stronger and stronger right where you are. Feel the feet on the floor. And again, go into that imagination and just cut those cords and send it back. See them surrounded with their own energy, with their own love, with their own light. And then just imagine your own self right now being centered, being grounded. Feel the feet on the floor. Good. And now just imagining a golden crystal ball above your head. See your name in that golden ball. And as you see the name, let it all come down, strengthening your auric field, strengthening your energy fresh and alive and centered. Ready for the week. Inhaling. 
and exhaling. Notice that little shift in energy, even for a couple of minutes, better than nothing. Coming back, feel the feet on the floor. All right, how we doing? Coming back. So I've got some cards laid out here. So I posted them earlier. You can pick now if you haven't before, one, two, or three. And look at our message in the universal card too. All right, so I kind of like asking, you know, kind of asking about what do I need to know? And we're just talking about imagination. So let's talk a little bit about that. And ask in spirit as we go through this, like what is it you do need to know right now? And how this can help you open up and expand your energy, all right? So if you pick the first card, number one, Wheel of Fortune. All right, this card is really kind of unique in this wild unknown deck. Look at how much is going on. But look at the center. Something is about to change. All right, if you chose number one, something is about to change in your life. So be on the proactive end. Make it something that you want to change. All right, the wheel is always turning. Sometimes it looks like it's forever. Sometimes you feel like you're in the same place, but this is to let you know that something is about to turn in your own life. So be proactive. Make the changes that you want. You've got all the things that you need. You've got the sun, the moon, you've got that wise aisle and right in the center. So if this is the card you chose. Be on the lookout and make some changes. Help it along. Don't be a victim, right? Be a master. Be a master. We talk about that. Be a master to your mind. Number two. All right, this is about stalemate energy. This is definitely blocked energy, the two of swords. All right, look at that center. You can't make any kind of movement right now because something is definitely blocking your energy. What is it? Hello, what is it? Maybe it's something you don't want to see. All right, that doesn't really offer us much help in moving forward if we don't want to see it. So sometimes we do have to face some of those struggles. But I do know that as we face them and work through them, the light comes back in and helps us to really grow and learn. There's always a lesson somewhere, right? That's how I look at struggles. All right, so that's what this card is about. If you pick two, you have to make a choice, all right? It's important to make a choice, all right? And also the card that was on here was a Lumarian, the crystal was a Lumarian crystal. All right, Lumarians help us spiritually, very highly advanced spiritual information in here. So you can, how can I move out of this situation? Show me the way. This is where we ask for guidance, all right? So the third card was the Hermit. Love this card. This is my favorite time, thing to do this time of year. This is all about going within. Look at him in there. Isn't he cute? Look, he's got everything he needs. He's got his shell. And look at that light. This is all about retreating. This is all about going within and really strengthening that inner knowledge. That's what this card is about. Going within and strengthening that knowledge. All right. So if you've drawn number three, it's time for you to go within and shine your light. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of being a little bit maybe of a recluse right now in order to empower yourself. That's what this card is about. All right. And that was under the indico light, which is like a blue tourmaline that really helps that third eye energy as well. Will help you to shine your light. All right. So if you drew the first card, that was under the Herkimer. Herkimers have br brilliant energy that can help you really make some changes. A change is about to come, all right? In order to know what it is, make sure you move out any of that stuck energy. Don't be in that stale energy. Go within to shine your light. That's how you're going to find this out for yourself. Really important. Now, the universal card of the week, I love this card. This looks like a lot of balance, a lot of abundance, but really when this card shows up, it's about not holding on too tight. All right, especially to the abundant flow in our life. All right, we don't have to hold on. This is a really great card to remind us about that giving and receiving right now. All right, don't be afraid to give. Don't be afraid to receive. Don't hold on too tight. That's what this card comes on to remind us. If we hold on to everything, all right, no flow of energy. So be sure to keep that flow moving, all right? Also, this card tells us too about this, right? Know where it is to flow in life so that you can make the changes that you need. I'm getting some thumbs up on these. All right. Get rid of the stalemate. Ask. Ask for guidance. Show me the way through this decision. And the way that we do that is with the hermit. Go within. Be really strong with your spiritual practice right now. All right. That is one of the things we do talk about tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show with Tina. Be really diligent, non-negotiable with your spiritual practice. That's what that card is about. All right, so as you go through those weeks, look for ways to make changes. Look for ways to move any blocks out. All right, don't hold on too tight. That is really the importance here. Give and receive both. All right, 
Take a nice deep inhale. If you have any questions, post below. If you want to draw me, if you want me to draw your card, let me know. Just post below. I know it takes a minute to catch up, and I'm always quickly to do it. So tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, we have Tina Conroy talking about creativity and imagination. Really great episode. Really talk about spiritual leadership, getting out of our way, and really taking a stand. Exactly what I've been ranting about right now, all this past month, and continues. So check it out tomorrow. All right. Also, too, join the Empowered Spirit Circle in December. I'm going to be doing some early morning pranayama so that we all can practice together. All right, we're going to be doing that. And also, too, in December at Birmingham Yoga, our Reiki Circle, we're going to be opening up to healing circles. So definitely join us there. All right, I've got a couple of requests here. Heidi, one for you, and then Thelma, too. All right, Heidi, here go. We're going to pick a card for you. All right. Heidi, this is the Father of Swords, all right? So the Father of Swords, look how he sits there and he knows a lot, all right? Now, that's really important that not to get too critical in the mind, though. So it's important to observe and to watch and to use that information very, very carefully. Sometimes when we have too much of this energy, it's a fixed energy with the Father, we can get very critical. So careful of that, especially as you go through this season. It's good to know and it's good to observe but be careful not to take it to that next extreme, all right? Wise owl, he sees and knows all. So use that energy. Just be careful if you find yourself getting a little too picky or judgmental even. All right, Thelma, I'm going to draw you a card too. All right, so this card is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a beautiful card. That's a lot of abundance going on. All right, there's a little more coming in, but you've actually done a lot of great work, all right? And this is just coming forward for you to open up and see. Look how it's in the center there. All right, there is a little bit more. Nines represent almost completion. So something that you're working on, which actually is in perfect alignment for what we were saying, okay? It is because there's more. So put your work out there even more. Continue to do what you do. It's not finished yet, so something that you're working on has more to come forward. But this is a great card. The Nine of Pentacles is a very abundant card. All right, Sean, let's draw one for you. Next steps. Let's see what that next step is for you. All right, Sean, this is actually a really beautiful card, too. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is almost like a, it's like a fulfillment card, all right? You are coming to... Post below. What did you choose before? Did you choose one, two, or three, Sean? I can't remember um, what you had chosen before. But see how much connects up with this card. There's a lot of abundance in the air for you. So it is time for you to make that next step. You're coming to the end. What are you going to do next? That's exactly what this card is telling you. You are in for a change. All right? So that's what this card is telling you. It's definitely a... Um, it's You picked one. See? Okay, man. This is it. Look what you got. You got the completion of 10 in a very abundant life, and now the wheel is going to move a little forward for you. What do you want to be in charge of, Sean? What do you want to do? That's a beautiful card for you, all right? All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We can always talk about that more if you want. All right. Let's see. Patrick, card please. Okay. Sean, I hope that answered your question. Give me a thumbs up if it did. All right, so Patrick, this one is for you. This is the Six of Pentacles. Boy, we're drawing lots of abundant cards today. I love this. This is growth. This is community. So something that you're doing right now, keep going because it is it is being very fruitful for you. Is that right, uh, Patrick? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Very fruitful. So keep doing it. It's beautiful. See all the abundance on that flower? Those are pentacles. You're growing something and it's working well. Six, lots of times, represents community. So if you're doing some community work, that's a perfect way to increase that abundance as well. Very positive card. Very abundant. I love it. Definitely. I love that as well. All right. We got some three thumbs up. We got some thank yous. All right. Definitely. All right, I'm not seeing any other cards. Beautiful cards coming forward. So if you're listening, if you're tuning into this, take these cards for your, yourself as well. Very important that we open up and build that energy, build that abundance, build those shifts, right? All right, I know I went through a huge shift this summer. Maybe now's your time. Maybe now is your time to step up your game as well. Step up and really put it out there. If not now, when? Really, really. That's part of my rant. We must, all right? We must put our work out there. We must take a chance. The cosmos are supporting us. We talked about this with Lori. Check it out if you didn't hear the episode. Powered Spirit Show. Check it out. 
It is the time the universe is definitely supporting us in all that we're doing. All right. This time of year can be a little rough. So make sure that you go through and give and receive both. All right. Join us for the healing circles Wednesday at 630 for either someone you know. You can send me people to pray for, send Reiki to, or come in yourself to and get a little energy for yourself. All right. That's at Birmingham Yoga. It's on their schedule, I do believe. 530, 530, I think I said. 630 is restorative yoga. All right, and tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, again, we have Tina from the Intuitive Woman Podcast. We talk about some great stuff. Check it out. Definitely. All right, guys, if there are no more questions, thank you so much for joining me. I hope the meditation has helped. All right, I chose to, how do I know what's blocking? All right, Agnes, before we close off, how do you know? That's where we sit in meditation. That's where we get really still. We sit in meditation. Use the intuition to open up and ask. Tomorrow on the show, listen in on the Empowered Spirit Show. We'll be talking more about that as well. Check out the blog post too. I did write about that too. All right, Patrick, community it is. All right, thank you. Good confirmation. All right, everybody, just take a nice deep inhale. Exhale out. Use that cord cutting as often as you need over the holiday season. Know and trust all those around you. We're all in this for the highest good. Be nice, be kind, be gentle. Share your love as we move through this season. Thank you for joining me. As always, a pleasure to your spirit. Namaste.